Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to HR Top of Family. First of all, thank you for watching this video. Today's topic is count function. There are total five functions: count, counta, count blank, count if, and count if yes. So let's understand the concept first. Count. The word itself says total number of count, like head count. How many people are there? Now it, but you have to understand one thing. It only counts the numbers. If any characters alphabet is mentioned in the Excel cell, it will not calculate. So let's understand the count function first. Now, can you see the numbers? I've just kept it to understand. And here are the characters, alphabets and everything I've added. So let's see how it counts. Is equal to count the first one, the formula, the function and select the range. The moment you enter, it is giving seven, the serial number. Total seven people are there, right? But if I put the same thing here, it shows zero because it is a alphabet, character, symbol, whatever you say. It will not count because count is only for counting the numbers. Now the question comes, sir, from this you know, Excel sheet, I come to know there are seven people, there are 14 people, there are 14 people, there are 15 people, then why we use count? So you have to understand one thing. See, when we try to formulate a kind of dashboard or anywhere, all the formulas are using with so many Excel sheets. At that time, we don't use serial number. We have to give the count, which is which we have to use the count function. Now let's go to the second one, which is called counter. Like your question will be, sir, if there is an alphabet, there is a symbol, then what function we have to use? You have to use count up. That is A, count A, count up. But it includes everything, including space also. Let's check. So I'll just add the formula is equal to count a counter, select the range and enter. The same thing, if I put it, it will give me seven because it's a seven cells are there. If I remove this, it is giving me six. Even if I put a space, it will show me these seven numbers. Can you see changes? That means what? How the counter works is if anything is written inside the cell, it will calculate, but not the formatting. For example, now I remove the, you know, the space and I put a color. So color, it is not counting because that is a formatting. It is not inside the cell. Am I very clear? I hope you understand what is count. It only calculates the numbers. It will count the numbers. And what is counter? It will count all the numbers. It's, chalo, let me write a number now, seven. Can you see? It is seven. If I delete, it becomes six. If I keep it any numbers, it becomes seven. Can I go ahead friends? So let's see the next one. Now here, third one, count blank. Now what is count blank? The name here automatically says blank. So it will calculate, no, it will count all the blank cell which is inside the range. Let's see an example. Now count blank. See, if I do count blank and select the range, it will give me one. If I select for all, for every you know column, there are one, there are one. Can you see there are two? There are total five. And here it is zero. So what is count blank? It counts the total blank cell in the range, not the column range. I'll give you an idea. Same formula I'm putting here is equal to count blank, selecting the entire range. Whatever range you select from that range, how many blank cell are there is what you are going to get the answer. So total nine blank cells are there. Am I very clear? What is count? Numbers. Counter, 
all the characters, including numbers. What is count blank? It calculates. No, it counts. It gives you the total count of the blank cell in the selected range. Am I clear? It gives you the total count of the blank cell from the range that you have selected. Am I making it very simple? Let's go to the next character or next function. Count if. Now you have to understand what is count if and count if yes. The only difference is the word letter yes. Count is if. Count with if. If is a condition. So if you give any condition, for example, count. Okay. How many people are there? 20 people are there. But give me only manager. So you have given one condition. Tell me in your company, how many people are in HR department? How many people? 100. HR department is a condition. So you have given a condition from 40 people or 100 people. How many people are in HR department? That is called if condition, but only one condition. But if you go for more than one condition, for example, I'll tell you, HR Topper is a company having 100 employees all over India. Let's say 1000 people all over India. So in HR Topper, how many people are working in Mumbai branch? And in this Mumbai branch, how many people are in from HR department? So three conditions, two conditions, sorry. One is Mumbai, one is HR department. Now in HR department, how many people are executive? So four conditions. Total from HR topper, how many people are from Mumbai? How many people are from HR, sorry, from HR department and who are executive? So let's see one example. Very easy, understand the concept. If only one condition, if only one condition, count if yes. Yes means some, that is more conditions. Conditions, am I clear? So let's see count if, okay? So I've just taken one example of an attendance, okay, dear? So in this attendance, I just want to know ki Anand Mudaliyar, Shankar, Ramesh, Rubina, how many people are present? How many people are total present? So what I have to do is, I'll write it present is equal to count if. First, we will write the function. Now, here, you have to understand in a very simple language. Don't, uh, under, don't try to like understand what is range, what is criteria. We can assume and think and understand and replicate like range. Range means full range. And what is criteria from that range? What you want? So you have to understand range. From this range, what you want is criteria. So let's understand from this example is equal to count if what is the range i just want to know from 1st to 31st range from 1st to 31st how many days he was present how many days he was present comma i want p so criteria is in this range what you want i want p so we'll put under the double inverted comma and write P. Double inverted comma and close the bracket. It has come 21. It has come 21. So 21 days he was present. I'll give you one, one, one more example. How many people? How many people? So if I just do like this, I will come, I will get how many people were present. Now, how many people were absent? <laughs> Sorry. So Count if I have to select the range. Okay, I have selected the range. And from this range, what I want, I want absent, which is A, B. So I'll click A, B and close the bracket. So there are zero for this individual person, zero. But there are some people who have taken absent. For example, let's see total one. So we have to just find out where is one. Yeah, this is one. And rest all the days is present. Let's see the third one. 
present 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 here is absent so total one so total one but the moment if i write one more absent can you see it has automatically became two great one more example week off count if select the range okay comma what you want w o and close the bracket so total 10 <laughs> sorry so instead of this you know uh, doing every time selecting the range you can copy this formula and paste it here and instead of w o you can change what you want you want leave l v enter can you see simple what I have done, again, I'll show you. Just copy, but don't copy control C and control V. Don't do that. You have to copy the formula inside the cell, control C, and then put here control V. Now, what we have to change, we, I don't want the weekly off. I want the leave. So, I put L, W, L, V, and I get the answer. So, let's see the total count. Now, see the total sum can you see the entire count has come to 31 so from 31 days 21 days mr anand was present absent zero weekly of 10 and leave was zero this is the way for an example how to calculate count if because there was only one condition suppose if i want more condition there i will use count if yes i'll give you an example there are total 15 people from this 15 people few are working for hr topper and few people are working for s2s management so there are total two companies i'm just giving an example just understand the concept there are 15 people from this 15 people few are working in hr topper and few are working in s2s management so now i want to know how many people are working in HR topper? So you're giving only one condition. So that is count if. So count if. Now select the, can you see the range? So the range is here inside this range. Now inside this range, earlier we were writing P for present in the double inverted comma. But now we don't want that because instead of that, you can also select the cell HT. Can you, can you see, instead of writing into the double quote, for example, see, HT, it will, go, it will come. But instead of writing every time, see, every time I cannot, turn. what is formula? You don't have to type anything. Some cases we have to type. But here, it is if, yes, so definitely there will be a cell. So instead of writing anything inside the quote, let's select the cell. Same. The moment if I change to S2S, can you see it has come to 7, 7 plus 8, 15 members. Am I very clear? Now, I'm going to count if yes. Now, one more condition I'm adding. From S2S management, from this total 15 people, how many people S2S management and how many people are based in Jaipur? Okay, so let's see here. Anywhere Jaipur is there? Yes, there is one Jaipur. Can you see here? There is one Jaipur in S2S. So let's see how it works. Is equal to count if yes, count if yes. It is asking range. The first range. So the first important we want is from this range, first you identify the S2S. Then from the second range, identify the location. So I'm selecting Jaipur and enter. Very simple. Select the range. What you want in the range? S2S. Select the range. What you want? Jaipur. So total one people. Suppose if I make this S2S and Jaipur. Okay, sorry not well so it is two and if i move it to mumbai one and again zero can you see it has become automatically zero 
the moment if i put uh, here mumbai again it's giving four because here mumbai here mumbai here also mumbai and here also mumbai so total four so what is the condition in this 15 people how many people are from s2s management then from s2s management how many people are from mumbai now let's make one more thing from mumbai how many people are working in the hr department let's see <laughs> sorry is equal to count if yes the first range company and where it is written here ht comma second range branch comma what i want from this range what i want mumbai comma the third range is we want department from this department what i want human resources two people are there so let's say here yeah here can you see this no no sorry it is ht okay it is ht now so ht mumbai human resources can you see ht mumbai human resources ht mumbai so total how many people are there two so it has given us two count even you can go longer if you want from this hr department how many people are executive you want to do try that so i'll make it here executive okay one i'll make it so the formula will be this and the third one will be executive okay so let's make it is equal to count if yes the first range is the company which company i want we have to write in the cell select the cell second is the branch comma select the branch comma department select the department and now i want the designation so i'll select the range of designation from this designation what i want is criteria is the executive and enter can you see one has come so very simple what is count if single formula single condition count if yes more than single it can be another like executive how many salary range anything you can go you should have that much column with you am i very clear so let's do the small revision what is count we'll go once again count it calculates only it counts the numbers it counts all the characters and numbers it counts the cell which is blank in the entire range that you will select count if one condition count if yes more than one condition i hope you have learned in a very simple way and you will not forget again see you very soon in the next video